In the first century AD, the biblical century, you might say, in terms of the New Testament, Ephesus was more or less the, uh, the red light city of antiquity. Uh, it seems that every variety of human creep uh, chose Ephesus as his capital because of the one of the seven wonders of the world was located there, the great temple to Artemis, uh, somewhat mistranslated Diana today in the King James Version. Remember, great is Diana of the Ephesians. Well, really, it's Artemis of the Ephesians. And a temple provided sanctuary for anybody who's in trouble with the law. And so, therefore, if you got inside the temple or even in a shadow anywhere in the precinct, you were sacrosanct, and therefore you couldn't, the law couldn't get you. And for that reason, it was a very uh, popular uh, location for about every variety of miscreant on the face of the earth. I mean, you had uh, necromancers, you had wizards, you had witches there, you had con men, religious con men and others who regularly uh, frequented the premises, and of course the usual prostitutes. and and uh, camp followers and whatever else. So I wonder why St. Paul would want to get to Ephesus so badly, and I think here's the reason. If he could conquer for Christ in Ephesus, he could probably conquer for Christ anywhere. <laughs>